Welcome to this Accountants Drill demo. Accountants Drill is a software that was designed to import your customer database in order to produce the company financial statements and complete a compilation, review engagement, or audit mission mandate. When you start an Accountants Drill, the first step is to create a new company analysis. You can select which accounting software is used by your customer to import data. Drill can import data from a variety of accounting software, including online or cloud software such as QuickBook Online. Before you proceed to import data into Drill, make sure to update the filters to ensure you have the most recent data import filters version. It is also possible to import a trial balance and, if available, a list of transactions from an Excel spreadsheet with the import option other system versions 1 to 2 or manually enter a trial balance with the import option manual system version 1. For the purposes of this demo, I will import data from the Acamba software. When you create a new company analysis, you may select import settings and values from a default template to maintain a standard frame for all your company analysis. Depending on the selected accounting software to import data, there may be more modules available to import, such as accounts receivable and accounts payable. After selecting the Acomba company to import and the data import process is complete, I now have access to the general ledger's transaction as well as transactions and report for customers, suppliers, and inventory in the sub-ledgers that have been imported from Acamba. The next step is to define a drill index and, if required, a GIFI index for each account. Each drill index is part of a group. As an example, Index group A is for all cash-related index. Drill index groups follow a preset template. Index groups A to Y are for banks and assets. Index groups dot AA to dot ZZ are for liabilities and capital. Index group with starting from 00 hyphen to 20 hyphen are for incomes and index groups from 30 hyphen to 97 hyphen are for expenses. A list of index is included in the default template, such as A01 for cash, B01 for term deposit, etc. These index serve to gather accounts that have similar purpose, for example, two banks account, so their values can be merged together in the financial statements such as the exp excellence spreadsheet and reports such as the lead schedules. You can add index to this list or in the default template analysis to spread out financial information such as the index.gg amount due to shareholders, directors and others. A auto-indexing feature is available. When you click on this button, Drill will compare the account name to a list of common description for each index, and if a match is found, Drill will suggest this index with a bold blue font. The font will turn to black standard when the index is saved. You can click on Copy Index to paste index from index 1, which is the current year, to index 2 for the previous year or vice versa. Next is the GIFI indexing, which will allow to export the financial data to a tax software. In some accounting software, such as Acamba, if the GIFI indexing has already been done in the accounts, it will be included in the import process. Once the analysis and financial statement are completed, it is possible to export the GIFI data into a .gfi file to import them into a tax software. That completes the account indexing step. Before we continue, I will access another company that has some more content into it.
Next, we will access the company information window and fill in the company address, contact information, fiscal year dates, entity understanding information. We will also set up accounts with fiscal impact that can be used to do advanced search. Choose if a rounding has to be done in financial statements and accounts to be used for report balances. These accounts will absorb the difference if the rounding causes a report to not be balanced. For instance, assets versus liabilities not being balanced in the balance sheet. These accounts must have indexes linked to them since the index linked to this account will be used to balance the excellence spreadsheet. In the excellence tab, you can set the report type, date, the number of shareholders, which will define which report will be shown in the excellence spreadsheet after it's been synchronized with drill. Other settings are available to choose from, such as working on a earning sheet with or without appendices, display the date and number of month in the column headers or not. The indexes for rounded amounts in the balance sheet and income statement comes from the account set in the general ledger tab. The tolerance field allows you to choose how much rounding is allowed before excellence warns you about discrepancies too high for rounding values. If that happens, the verification report that can be found in the financial statements tab can help find where the discrepancies come from. Let's take a quick look at the current file window. The analysis management tab gather shortcuts to set up an information windows such as the template importation, index groups, entries, and editing as well as report displaying data linked to the setup windows. In the permanent file tab, it is where you can add documents that will be reused in future analysis such as the engagement acceptance form, independence forms, and engagement letters. Next is the mission tab. The mission tab name will change depending on the mission type you selected in the company information window. In this tab, you can add documents as you complete sections in the analysis, such as the engagement completion or engagement acceptance. Mission templates have been defined to be intuitive and easy to work with. Report labels, such as adjusted results and adjusted balance sheet, will be suggested as you progress in the analysis. Depending on your analysis requirements, some sections or reports may not be necessary. You may ignore them or hide them using the keyboard touch F4 to select, unselect items or entire sections. If you want to always hide certain reports or sections, you can do this from the analysis template editing. You can right click on a group, index, folder to add items to it, such as items that can be found in the documents tab, a reports template, or any file available on your computer. In the section seven, each group, and indexes that have been assigned to an account will be displayed. A quick apology, as the account that, have, that are showing in that company have been imported from a French company. You can double click on a group, index folder, or account to attach a document to it. Insert notes and comments. You can right click on a group to document the related lead schedule which allows you to add annotations and footnotes. You can right click on an account to create a reconciliation or view modify to perform a selective analysis and search for a transaction based on a selection. For example, we can have the selective analysis on select any transaction that has a value under $2,500 before producing the analysis report. In the document tab, you can find a copy of every document that has been added to the current year analysis. 
If you would like to keep a copy of these documents upon your change, you can activate a feature in the Options menu, Application tab. In the Document tab, you will find the Excellence spreadsheet, as well as several other Excel worksheet templates that can be added to your company analysis. In this demo, we will focus on the Financial Statement Excellence spreadsheet. The Excellence spreadsheet contains macro features that can be accessed via the Add-ins Excellence menu. Amongst the Excellence tools, some commonly used tools are the synchronization that allows to push data from drill in the spreadsheet, hide and unhide that lets you choose if you want to show or not a comparative year, index column, or blank lines, and show hide the opening balance sheet column if you ever need a third column in the balance sheet. In the Excellent Spreadsheet, first pages are the cover page and the table of contents that portray the reports that will be in the financial statements. Next is the mission letter that is defined by the type of mission selected in the company information settings. You may modify the text to fit your situation. For instance, change the we to high if you work alone. The following pages, such as income, retained earning, balance sheet, etc., will contain text, descriptions, and values that are synchronized from drill. Most automated value will re refer to an index or a value found in a node or an appendix. You can unhide the index column to know which index a formula cell refers to. You will also notice that some text or value have different colors. Don't worry, these colors will not show when generating the financial statements. Blue text or teal colored cells are not linked to a formula and are meant to be modified manually. You could change an index value to change the order that they are being shown, for example. Green colored cells are used for value rounding and internal controls. These values should not be modified. Arrange text found in a mission page are comments for information purpose. They can be hidden with a hide blank line feature. Black text and value may be modified, but I strongly suggest you confirm if it's related to a formula and save the formula in an empty cell if you choose to modify it. If a cell is related to a formula, you might be able to apply a change by finding what value that formula refers to. For example, the cash text found in the balance sheet has a formula that refers to the description in the index in cell G11, which is index A01. So, if I modify the index A01 description in drill, the value in excellence will take that change in consideration after I resynchronize. The last pages of the excellence spreadsheet, notes and complementary, refers to a list of notes and appendices that can be created, modified, made visible or hidden via the notes and appendices management menu in drill. You can create a new node or appendix, modify an existing one, or hide, unhide it. If the letter M shows next to the node number or appendix letter, it means that the node or appendix is hidden. You can access the same feature via the, the analysis template editing to choose which nodes and appendix is shown or hidden by default per type of mission. A quick tip about the hide and hide blank lines options. If you manually unhide columns next to the index column, you will notice cells with formulas that returns a true or a false answer. These true false dictates what will stay visible and what will be hidden when I ask to hide blank lines. A true means that this line will be hidden and a false that it must stay visible. You may manually write a true-false value and save the true-false formula in the next empty cell, so you can revert back to the original value later if you change your mind or a problem happens. 
another trick for you, this time in the balance sheet. If you have an index value that you would like to be moved from the assets to the liabilities, instead of being displayed in negative in the asset section, the index A01 has a display line both in the asset and the liability section, and has a formula that allows it to change where the value will be displayed. You can use this sales formula to duplicate the behavior with other indexes. Notice carefully the greater than and lesser than signs in the formula to make sure that they are in the proper order versus the index type. You would then want to have a greater than sign in a formula cell on the asset side if the index is a credit type. As you progress through the analysis work, you might need to input adjustment entries. You may go to Drill, General Ledger, Entry to input new transactions. The new transaction can be an adjustment for your regulating entries, a classification entry for FX that must only be displayed in financial statements, or a check, deposit, or entry if you must input a transaction that was not imported from the customer database. For instance, if the customer forgot one transaction before sending you his database backup. You can check the floating transaction checkbox for regulating entries to be made available again in the next year analysis. You can produce a list of transactions report from the general ledger tab for adjustments only. If you need to send a list of adjusting entries to be authorized or signed by your customer. Once the mission is completed and all adjusting entries have been written, you are ready to generate your mission and or financial statements into a PDF file. Make sure to have the mission tab active when you click on the working file button to have access to all source and option choices. You can choose to generate the report for all current file which includes every document, indexes, and accounts that you have worked on in the mission tab, or choose only for the selected item in the mission, or the financial statements only, which refers to the excellence spreadsheet. If you choose a source selected item or all current file, you can choose options to include financial statements, supporting documents, and documentation. You can protect the generated working file by checking the encrypt document checkbox and choosing a password. Add a watermark on every pages or a logo after choosing the watermark logo settings with the modify button. The working file generation can take some time depending on the number of supporting documents and files attached to the mission. I've mentioned the analysis template a few times Let's take a quick look at it. To access the analysis template, make sure to close the company analysis first. The analysis template editing option will not show if a company analysis is opened. This is where you can access the template company to set or modify any features to be available to import when creating a new company analysis. Do you remember when we created the demo company analysis? We add options under the software import settings from a template that looks pretty much the same as this template importation window. Well, this is the space, the company where we set the default template that we selected on the analysis creation. You can change what's being imported as a template by modifying the index groups and indexes, the list of users, the content of the current file in the analysis management, permanent file, and mission tabs. You can do modification on the mission tabs for each mission type. The excellence worksheet. And the report labels. You can access the notes and appendices management to define which notes and sections, which appendices is visible by default for each mission type. If there are other people that works in a contents drill, 
It is possible to set a network folder for the analysis template editing in the Options menu, Partner tab. This network folder must be set for every computer with the drill installation. This will ensure that everyone access and shares the same template. This concludes the demonstration of a contents drill. I hope you enjoyed this software quick overview. If you have any questions about the contents drill, pricing, or service plan, you can join us by phone at the number 1-800-862-5922. Thank you, and have a great day.